We wrote letters to the unknown soldier that are going to be published in the British Library about like how we felt about the war. It was quite emotional, I guess, sort of, because you don't th- really know who it is. It made you think about like all the people that had died and like not just that one person. Yeah. Yeah. You sort of focus on like their family and their friends, like how they must have fought when they um, didn't really know that who the unknown soldier was or like coming home. And it wasn't just the people who were related to that person, it was like the whole nation and the whole world. I wrote a poem and the type of poem was an across it poem, so it says Remember Dan side. It's for the Remember the Unknown Soldier, 14 to 18 now for Joe. What ideas came into your head when writing the poem? Um, how they would have felt going away, family being back at home, and like who he is. Why did you think it was important to remember World War I with projects like this? Um, so people don't forget about it and hopefully try and prevent wars happening in the future. If you don't remember it, um, you might forget people and if you know if you know other people who had relatives that died in the war, then it would be quite sad for them if you don't remember that. How does it feel to know that they're going to be published in the British Library? It's quite a big place. We haven't been there before, but... It'll be good to go and see it. And like in years to come, like our like relatives will be able to see it.